Welcome back to another Amnation video. Today we talk about the perfect weekend for the Montreal Canadiens de la Valois and my three stars of the week from the Amnation. First of all, we're going to talk about the, the double W for the Montreal Canadiens beat the St. Louis Blues Saturday night by the score of 5-2 to two. and then last night they beat the Philadelphia Flyers by a score of 4-3. The record is back at 500 4 Four, one after nine game. Don't panic. It's a roller coaster with the Montreal Canadian. My report card of the Montreal. Here we go. Montembeau a B for his performance Saturday night. Primo I gave him a C plus with his performance last night. Kirby Duck one goal three points over the weekend. I gave him an A. Nick Suzuki again. Two points per game for a total of four points. And then Cole Carfield with two goals with a A for Carfield. And the line has also a A. The second line, Kepanen a C. New York, one goal. I gave him a C. Amir, one goal, two points for a total of C plus for Amir. And then that line was C. Unfortunately, I did not like the, the game. Again, the Flyers was almost invisible, that line. Gallagher, one goal, two points. Give him a B. Jake Evans, what a great weekend. Two goals, three points. What an amazing, great uh, performance on the PK. I give him an A. Anderson, one assist, one point. I give him a B. That line, overall, it was the second best line for the Montreal Canadian behind Suzuki. That four line, Enemon, I give him a C. Devil Rack, I give him a C minus. Yes, I have one point, one assist. So that I give him a C also. And then that line overall is a C for the four line for Montreal Canadiens. Oh, the defensemen, the group of the defensemen, I give them a B. Hudson, good performance, one assist, I give him a B. Madison, four assists on the weekend, I give him an A. Five block shot for Madison. Madison have a great performance at both games, the way he carried on the pocket. Mayu, struggling, honestly. But we are generous on the weekend. I give him a C. Saval, 2.9 block shot, A minus. The team on the defensive side was looking better. And the reason, I believe, because of David Saval's performance on the weekend, he played his best two games of the season. Trouble, a little bit better and better game after game. He got one point. I give him a B. Jekai, this is the Jekai we're looking for. And Martin Sweet talked about that. And I give him a good. B for Jekai. That's the reason that the group of defensemen have a B. Finally, my special team get a A. Look what happening with them. Two goals and two games and five attempts. And then the PK, he was excellent with 100. And the Montreal is second in the NHL on the PK with a bit over 88 or 89% since the beginning of the season. Good performance of all the Montreal Canadiens during the only weekend. Like I mentioned, they play now for 500. They go to returning. Next week with three games, Tuesday, the Seattle Kraken, and then Washington Thursday, and Pittsburgh Penguins Saturday. And of course, you can watch him play by play of the Hockey Nation and the Ad Nation here every time the Montreal Canadiens play a game. Good performance for the Montreal Canadiens during the weekend, two and two. Now is the time to give them my three star of the weekend. It's happening here with my stood out player, Nick Suzuki. Four points on the weekend. Great performance of the Nick Zuzki as a captain. And now he has three gold and four assists in the last three games. Jake Evans in my Oscar players. Look, Jake Evans does everything right now for the Montreal Canadian. Scored a goal, carrying that team on the different ways. Maybe not like Nick Zuzki, but overall, Jake Evans have a great weekend in my Oscar Players. I could mention with that one, David Saval, by the way. And then at the office, uh, Logan Mayu. You can see during the weekend, all the abs fans told me during my play-by-play, -play, Logan Mayu struggled most of the time against the Blues. Yesterday, he was a little bit better against the Flowers, but still, Logan Mayu, I think, won the Baron Cooley return in the lineup. I think uh, Mayu is going to be returning in Laval. Nothing wrong about that. Mayu need to get a little bit more time with the Laval Rocket before he become consistency player in NHL. And that's our my friendship rewards of the weekend for the Montreal Canadian. Talking about a perfect weekend, what about the Laval Rocket? Double W's only weekend. Again, the Utica comments. 
both score four to three. And now they have a record of five one zero since the beginning of the season under the head coach Pascal Vincent. Look, the Rocket looking great, and we have to give their credit for not only Vincent but the players to get out. The defensive side of the game is excellent for the Rocket. A great performance of Tobin Friday night, but an amazing great performance of. Of course, Connor Hughes for his second game starter with Laval Rocket gave only three goals and a 34 shot he, he faced. Then Joshua Roy, another great weekend with two goals, one assist. Luke Tark also great weekend with two goals, one assist. Alex Barry Boulet at three points. Jared Davidson, great performance with the kid line. And overall, I think the Laval Rocket looking great. Leave me a comment about what you think about the Laval Rocket so far since the beginning of the season. Finally, my three star of the week. Every Monday, we do the three star of the week for the Montreal Canadian, for the Laval Rocket, and for the Pipeline overall for the Hockey Club Abs. Now, my three star for the week for the Montreal Canadian Nick Zuski, three goals, three assists, six points in the last three games, and performed with two points per game. Nick Zuski increasing his course C, he increasing his plus and minus. Corsi drive the first line in the last three games. Great performance overall by Nick Zuzki during the week. That's the reason he got the first star of the week. My second star, guys, I go with Jake Evans. Jake Evans, two gold, three points during the weekend, but also have a game-winning goal. But you have to remember, Evans not only on the offensive side or, or the 5 versus 5 his play on the PK is unbelievable. That's the reason the PK on the Montreal is excellent this year. Because Jake Evans looking great every single time the Montreal are on the PK. I like his consistency. Look, he's a driver of the bus right now for the bottom six for the Montreal Canadian. That's the reason he's the second star of the week with the Montreal Canadian. My third star, guys, I struggle to give to Mike Madison, Kirby Doc. Honestly, David Savard is under one perform very well with the Montreal Canadian. But I decided to give to the special team. Why? Because the last three games, Montreal Canadiens score each game with one power play goal, three and eight. And then the PK gave only one goal and nine attempts from the opponent team. They deserve to get credit for their performance on special teams since the beginning of the season for the Montreal Canadiens. They are my three star of the week. For the Laval Rocket, I go with, first of all, Luke Tuck scored his first two goal professional with the Laval Rocket, he had three points over the weekend. It was excellent with Florent Jekai. Jekai scored, by the way, his first goal with the Laval Rocket career. Then we have three points overall by Luke Stock. That's the reason I gave him my first start. He was really involved with fiscal team for checking. He was really good on back checking. Overall, this is maybe the best two games I see from Luke Stock since the beginning of the season with the Laval Rocket. My second star, I have to go with Joshua Roy. Again, consistent performing game after game after he returned with the Laval Rocket. Two goal, one assist on the weekend. Three points for Joshua Roy. Game winning goal. Finally, my third star for the Laval Rocket is Jared Davidson. I could go with Barry Boulet with three points. Condola with a good weekend overall. But still, I have to go with Jared Davidson. After the injury of Philippe Mazal, Davidson become the center step up. But Davidson become really the driver of that line with Owen Beck and he has one goal two points on the weekend plus four for Davidson plus three yesterday and I have to give credit for the Jared Davidson finally my three star of the pipeline for the Montreal Canadiens are even Demidov Demidov guy is on fire he have a streak of one point in the last five game with eight points during that spin he has six points last week with six assists is plus seven and he shoot the puck 10 times in the last three games and that's the reason he might first start for the pipeline with the Montreal Canadiens following by Tyler Top, Top looking great the last two games with the Vancouver Giants scored two goal one assist for the total of three point game winning goal yesterday with the Giants Top since the beginning of the season at only six goal six assists for a total of 12 points and finally Sam Harris Denver University one of the 33 overall pick and the Montreal Canadiens consists of performing. He had two goals on the weekend with three points. He scored every single game with the Denver University since the beginning of the season. He is 6-6 six six for 
for Sam Harris. They were looking great, by the way. One of the top best uh, team in NSA. We know they won the Final Four in the last two seasons. But again, Sam Harris uh, is my third star of the pipeline for the Montreal Canadian. That's it. That's all, my friend. You got everything today. Perfect weekend for the Montreal Canadian. Two and two. Perfect weekend for the Laval Rocket. Two and two. Great performance. It's front pipeline player for the Montreal Canadian. And uh, I would like to hear from you now. This is your turn to tell me what do you think about the Montreal Canadian. Leave me a comment below this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and click on the like. And remember, you are greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.